everyone. How's everybody doing this day? I think I'm doing pretty good today. Obviously back on the road and uh, starting out my day today. Yeah. Leaving the brand and truck stop right now. Gonna go back on the road and see how far we can make it today. Here we go, guys. We are just coming into Regina, Saskatchewan. Now, I think I'm gonna go stop at the Husky up here. Probably gonna go grab me a bite to eat. Haven't had anything uh, to eat for a while. Almost sounds like this road is closed or they got some kind of construction going on up here. I don't think so. Well, the road is still open. We don't know what they are doing up here with the construction. Anyways, we'll go up to the Husky up here and uh, take care of some business. It's been raining here for the last little while. Oh, looks like we got another pennant truck in there as well. Looks <coughs> like he's fueling up. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely fueling up, that's for sure. Anyways, been a couple of hours driving already. About three and three quarter hours driving that I've done today. So it's time to stop, you know. Proceed to the highlighted route. All right, RJ, we will afterwards. But first, we're gonna go grab ourselves a bite to eat, right? That's right. Oh yeah. Things have changed a little bit in this area in the last little while. Those buildings up there ahead of us never used to be there. It used to be an empty field. Oh my god, all kinds of buildings and looks like restaurants and hotels and all them good stuff up there. Looks like that truck ahead of us there wants to leave, but got his brake lights on, but not sure what he's planning on doing. If he was to leave right now, I'll go in there, but yeah, well, we can park in here as well. This back her up a little bit, line her up with the other trucks, and there we go. Alrighty. Oh yeah, just fill out the logbook. Get that all taken care of. Anyways guys, we'll be right back. Here we are cruising along the highway one westbound heading towards Washington. Oh yeah, I don't know, today I feel like lazy, I don't know why, but I just feel lazy, it almost looks like it's foggy, but it, I don't really think it is foggy, I don't know what it is, if it's like the, the air is bad today, or I don't know what's going on, but it looks mug, muggy today. But we are getting very close to the Alberta border. Yep, we got about uh, 45 minutes to go. We'll be in uh, Madison, at Alberta. I'll probably stop in there for a little bit. Or we'll use the uh, restroom. And that good stuff. And we'll probably continue a little bit further on from there. I don't know quite how far we'll go today, but yeah, we'll try anyways. We'll see how far we make it, but 
we'll have a little bit uh, over 800 kilometers by the time we get there to Madison Hat so eh, I could probably do another three hours worth of driving but we'll see we'll see how late we will drive the further west I go the time zone changes too right here it's one hour difference uh, from Manitoba to uh, Alberta time or Saskatchewan time and if I go into British Columbia it's going to be two hours difference so the sun is going to be up quite a bit later then but that's okay I already called the customer and uh, they want me in there by 5.30 in the morning there on the, on Thursday morning. So I promised him I will be there. If nothing goes wrong, I'll be in their town tomorrow night. Or really close by it anyways, so I talked to him. State quarter ahead. Oh, there's our chase. State quarter ahead. Anyways, the customer said that there's a Walmart in a close by their town or something like that. This is only like five minutes away from their town, so so yeah, that should be okay. Anyways, it's a little bit hilly up here, and as you can see, it's flat as far as bush goes. No trees, pretty much as far as you can see. That's the way it is up here in Saskatchewan. Anyways, we'll see what we'll do from there. I think I just heard the sound like go beep. There it goes Sounds like we might have a load offer from there going somewhere. So We'll look at it when we get over there to Madison Hat See what we get here. We are in the left bridge 5 Avenue North Left bridge Alberta that is and I'm gonna go search for the Petro Pass. I know the Petro Pass is a really small truck stop, but we'll go in there anyways and see if we can find a spot to park. If we can find a spot to park, then we'll go in there and park. For the night at least. I feel like that's it for today. We've gotten a little bit over 600 miles in already, so. Yeah, it's good enough for today. I can actually meters. do more. Turn left on 33 Street North. I could actually drive another probably two uh, two hours if I really wanted to, but yeah, I don't really feel like doing that. So, I even got a co-op up here. Let me see if they got parking in here. That yeah, doesn't look like it. No. I don't have parking in here. Oh, no, we'll just continue on. Go to the Petro Pass. In 200 meters. Turn left on 33 Street North. All right, RJ, we'll try that. See if that will work. Yeah. This is right down here. Petro Pass is supposed to be just down there at the corner. I remember it being down here. I, I've been there one time before. It's been a long time. Oh yeah. It's not much of a truck stop, In but it is meters, better than turn left nothing. On to Avenue North and then approaching destination on the right side. In 20 meters. That's what I figured. RJ is In telling me where meters, it is. Turn left on to Avenue North. See and then right approaching destination on the right side. In 20 I meters. see it right there. I don't remember if I stayed here overnight or not. But we'll give this a try anyways. I don't know if they allow trucks to park here for the night. We'll go check it out anyways. Look at this. Right beside the train track. <laughs> I don't know if they allow trucks to park here or not. But I don't know if 
have to find out. Looks like trucks have stayed here before, so I think we'll back her in over here and call it a day. Alrighty, guys. We are at the uh, Petro Truck Stop. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If you can look in the mirror, you only see one more spot open, and I'm the first one in there, and there's only one more spot that people can get into this truck stop, and that's it. Other than that, it's full. <laughs> it's basically uh, meant to be a fuel up station and maybe go do a quick parking here, and uh, they do have showers in there, but you do, you do have to have a Petro Pass card in order to take a shower, so otherwise you don't have access to the showers, but oh well that's the way it is but we are done for today i already added up a couple of videos for you guys and uh i figure i finish the show and get ready to go to bed and get out of here tomorrow early morning so with that thank you guys for watching i hope you uh, will give me a thumbs up and share the video and also hit that subscribe button right there in the corner yeah I would be very muchly appreciated. I know so many of you have done that already, but for those of you that haven't, please do so. That means a lot to me. And with that being said, have a good rest of your day, and we hope to see you tomorrow again. Thank you guys for watching. Get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind.